For the Erasmus game I made, students will be learning about slope. So they're going to learn how, different representations of slope, how to find slope, and exactly what slope is. Hopefully we'll connect some background information that they have about the word slope and make a new mathematical meaning of it. So first what they're going to do, let's open up the Erasmus app. So we open that up. So now we're going to go through some of the auras that the students can go through and kind of what, what they're going to learn while going through this activity. So first, here's our first page of auras. If we go to the first one, so we have an image there that's going to relate real life situations to slope, where they may have heard slope before. Go over to our second. Make sure you get to see each aura. If you want to go back to see other ones, go through everything, and then at the end you'll have a little bit of time to go back and revisit your favorite ones. Okay, so that's an audio for students, to just a little motivation throughout the lesson. We go down here. Given the graph, find the slope. To find the slope, we must understand that the slope of our So this is going to be a link to a YouTube video where students can find the slope from two points. If we go over here. Now, if we're given two points not graphically, Students can use this video, if you can see it. And that's going to show them how to use the slope formula between two points and get to the slope. Our next set of auras, if we have these, we have slope man, slope girl, and a couple other images down there. So if we go over to the top left. Different lines have different levels of steepness. If I draw this line, we can see it's kind of flat going from left to right. It's in an upward direction. So it has positive slope, but the slope isn't going to be that great. If I draw another line here, we can see that it goes up at a much higher rate, and therefore it's steeper and the slope is greater. Okay, so that video is going to show about the steepness of slope. So if we look at two images and two graphs, we can kind of see which one has the greater slope. If we go over here, different lines so we have. Different oh, lines sorry. Have different can be given to us in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is going to be in the form y equals mx plus b. The m stands for slope, and b stands for the y-intercept, which we're going to learn about later. If we look at y equals two-thirds x plus six, the slope for this line is going to be two-thirds because it's in place of the m. If we compare the two, we can see that the two-thirds is in place of the m, therefore, my slope is two-thirds. Okay, so that aura is going to kind of give them some background information that they're going to need for the next couple of lessons where we learn about graphing using slope. So knowing slope-intercept form is definitely important. If we look at this aura, if we're finding the slope between two points, sorry, put my hand in the way. Yeah. Mm. That's that is. Later on in this unit, we're going to find out how finding the slope is going to make graphing a lot easier and faster. Okay, so that was another audio just to kind of see why we're learning about slope to kind of kind of elicit some some excitement for the next topic. Let me go back to this one. So this is going to show them the slope formula. So the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now we have y2, y1, x2, x1 because there's two points. So it's always helpful to label the two points with either x1, y1 or x2, y2. So the first point... Okay. So knowing, knowing the slope formula is going to be a big part of finding slope, especially if it's given between two points. So, so far students have seen slope graphically, kind of understand that, that slope is steepness. They've connected it to real world examples. And now we're kind of getting into the formulas of how we're going to find slope. And then our last page here. So this is a slope song. It's kind of a, a fun little thing for the kids to do while they're going around. Okay. So 
So it's a song about the Cartesian plane and exactly what slope is. So it's just another kind of way maybe hopefully students can remember the slope formula. If we go over here. Okay. So that's another explanation of what slope is, rise over run. That's a common way that students think of, of slope, and the rise, the up and down to the run left and right. If we go down here. Hopefully you're enjoying this activity. Now go find out more about slope. So just another audio for them to kind of, just for fun, so they can maybe it'll get them a little excited to get to the next aura. And if we look at our last one. So this image... If I make it a little closer, this image is going to explain the difference between positive, negative, zero slope, and no slope. This is an important concept because if we get the equation for a line, we're going to need to know what our graph is going to look like. If it has positive slope, it's going up. Negative slope, it's going down. Zero is going to be a horizontal line, and no slope is going to be a vertical line. So students using this lesson and walking around will hopefully get different representations of slope and also be presented the information in different ways. So they use videos, images, there's audio, and hopefully this will be a fun activity for students to learn about slope. Thank you.